hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is debbie and this video is actually a requested one from chidima chidima hi thank you so much for always watching my videos and asking questions as well so, and i hope that this video tutorial would answer some of your questions yeah and if you're new on this channel thank you so much for coming you are most welcome on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern making ideas and tips so you are in the right place and if you are an old subscriber thank you thank you thank you let's get started In this video, I'll be showing you how to draft a pattern for an off-shoulder raglan sleeve dress or top or garment, okay? So now um, I just quickly want to explain to you why raglan sleeve is being attached to the name. Now, according to the name or to the title of this video, it is an off-the-shoulder raglan sleeve bodies or dress or top, which means a basic sleeve first then there will be a kind of you know transformation from that level of the of the basic sleeve to a raglan sleeve design and from there to an off the shoulder design okay so i have some patterns here and i'm going to quickly explain uh, what i did the adjustments i made on each of the pattern papers okay now there is my back pattern okay usually my back pattern would have a dart on the shoulder and you can see that it's been transferred to the ham hole. You can see the opening here on the ham hole. So I blended it like this. So from here, like that, and that's the essence of this paper. Now, the next thing that I also did was to come down from my underarm seam line here by one and a half inches. So from this point, this level here, I came down by one and a half inches and my one and a half inches is here okay and blended it from this point to you know to the rest of the ham hole okay so i'll cut this one out now before i show you you know the adjustments on the front bodies so i'll just cut this part out now the essence of this is that there will be a kind of ease for this around this area i hope you understand now um I have a video on how to do this, you know, transforming your basic bodies, then your basic sleeve into a raglan sleeve and all of that. I have about two or three videos on this, so you can, I'll just drop the link there. You can go ahead and um, check it out. They, I think the, those videos were the very first videos that I uploaded on this channel. So I just hope that you guys will be able to learn one or two things from it, okay? So, um, like I said, I'll be trimming this out now. So you can see my transformed back bodies. Now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the front bodies. I've done it already anyway, so I'll just explain. From here down one and a half inches. And I blended it. But what I did here, you know, I told you I transferred the shoulder dart to the ham hole. So what I did here was to transfer half an inch to the ham hole. Okay? I just, you know, of course, you know how to transfer a dart from one spot to another location. Okay? So that's what I did here. I just moved half an inch from here to this point And I did what? Connected it to the one and a half inches mark on the side uh, um, front here so can you see what i did here so and i blended it so i'll just cut, cut it out right now so can you see this is what i have and of course it's going to complement each other you can see what i have here so now because i came down by one and a half inches on the side you know from just to lower the arm hole okay so i'll just do the same thing on the sleeve as well 
So from this point now, I will come, this is my sleeve. This is my sleeve. Okay. So from here, I will come down by one and a half inches because I did the same thing on both the front and the back bodies. Okay. So can you see what I'm doing now? So from this point now, I will come down one and a half inches. Okay. So here, I will do the same thing. All right. So I'll just blend it like this, like this, okay? Okay, so I hope you can see what I have done. Hope you can see it clearly. I don't, I, I wouldn't want a situation where I to be very tight. Okay, because when it comes to raglan, you are not fixing the sleeve separately. You are adding the sleeve, part of the sleeve and part of the bodies together. So this is very important. You need to consider adding some ease and that's why I lowered it. So if you feel that one and a half inches is much, fine, you can reduce yours or you can even add more to it you can do two inches depending on the design if it's a kind of a kimono design of course it's important you um lower it by maybe two inches it depends on on the design like i said now next i'm going to measure from the neck point here sorry the shoulder tip down to this point okay that's what i'll do now i'll not divide it by two so you place your tape this way when you are measuring a curve line. So I have 12.375 and divided by 2, I should have 6.1875. Then minus 0.5 it will give me 5.6875 so i'm going to measure this here that 5.6 i'm going to take the measurement right from this point and not from here okay so this is where the point is okay so this is it now i'll come here and measure one and quarter from the neck point here i'll measure one and quarter and mark so this is it so right now i will connect this point and this point together so So I'll get the midpoint. Then I'll go up by three eighths. So this is what I have. Now I'll go over. I'm done with this. So I'll go to this part. So now I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure from this point to this point and transfer it to this point like this. Okay?
Now I went up instead of three eighths of an inch, I measured quarter of an inch. So from this straight line to this curve line is quarter of an inch. Okay, no longer three eighths. But you can do three eighths, please. Three eighths is also perfect. So I just decided to do quarter. So you can see what I have right now. I have cut it out and I've also labeled it armhole, shoulder, neck line. The same thing for the back. Can you see? You have to do this, it's very, very important. Now I'll put this aside. Put this aside. Then this is my sleeve. So from from this point, from this point now to this point, to this point, you make sure it's equivalent to this line. All right, for the back and here for the front. You know, it's the same thing. Let me just measure it. Okay. So I will, I will measure it here. So this is the point and I'll do this as well. So this side is the front and I'll pick the front. So this is the neck point, it is the neck point that will face here. So the ammo will go to the ham hole and it will start from here. Okay. So just place it on this mark and let it rest. So I'll use my pin for now to attach it together. This is the outcome of my raglan sleeve pattern. So for you to attach the part of the bodies to the sleeve, you need to just find a way around this place. Now you can see that this line, the green line is has shifted from where it was. Can you see? This green button, uh, green line, I mean, is shifting from here, this line, to this pencil line. I hope you understand. So uh, my advice is that just do all you can to achieve a well-blended um, line here. Do you understand? So if it requires you to shift the green line a little bit, okay, and curve it from here, can you see? From here to here is about um, half an inch. From here is about half an inch. So you can see what I did. I had to cut a little here because I wanted it to just, you know, stay well on the crown. Can you see? So just do all you can to, you know, balance it here. It's very important that it's balanced. And the issue that is here is because the 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 back is longer than the front okay so but there's no problem you can find a way around that so you can see how balanced it is so just ensure that you balance it in a way okay so that you have it right here because everything is going to be together now i can cut okay All right, guys, I am done cutting. Now I have a new look on my sleeve, on my sleeve head. Yeah, my sleeve head is, you know, has a new look right now. And on my wrist line, I'm going to be getting the mid point so as to be able to redraw my green line. Yeah. Okay, so please, you need to watch this video from the beginning to the end. The part two, which is the final part, is going to be in my next video. So I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. You need to check out for the next class. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.